days, an army of 3,000 fans were there to meet them. And for these fans, this game means more than the World Cup final. You can't put it into words what it means to the town of Boston um, and the supporters, the players. It's just going to be a brilliant day out, hopefully. No one can stop us now. It's all in our hands. Whatever we do today is up to us. Good luck, lads. Do your best and we'll be with you next season, wherever we are. Bill Shankly once said it's a matter of life and death and it's more important than that. Boston had to do was win at the expense of Dagenham, who were level on points. Come on, Boston! And it'll be Boston United to get this match started. Comes the long throw down. Eleanor! And saved at his uh, near post there by Nicky Ball. Corner kick. Oh, and Rodwell off the bar. Still, it's in there for Boston. Weatherston, goal! What a start for Boston. Angel. In fact, it's Gould who's uh, crossing. Oh, and the overhead kick. That was a really good effort from Mark Angel to find uh, Costello is running forward. Looks for a penalty. Boston, they look strongly. And, and he's actually been sent off, he's been given the red card. Boston down to ten men within a minute of the second half starting. Played in by either Angel or Weatherston. It's left to Mark Angel. It's good delivery as well, free header and a goal! And surely now, surely now, Boston United are on the way to the Football League for the first time in their history. Being taken by Dean Clark. One by Rodwell. Volley back in, brings a good save from Bastock. Great scenes down at uh, that end of the ground. It's a magnificent sight. And that's it. And who's going to make the dressing room? Not too many. Fantastic scenes here at Church Road. Boston United for the first time in their history. And Steve Evans is absolutely mobbed. And the fans make a beeline for the Boston manager. And what a wonderful day this is for the Scot. And it's absolutely terrific. Well, one or two, including the man of the match, Jim Rodwell with the headband there, have made the sanctity of the dressing room. And I'm absolutely delighted. I'm thrilled to be Delighted for the manager, delighted for the players, supporters. The acting chairman, Mr. Rocker, has had a difficult few months holding things together in the boardroom. I'm especially pleased for him and the, and the board of directors. Delighted for the town. <laughs> Delighted for everybody. So here it is, Boston, our champions of the conference in the year 2000. To do this for Boston is just absolutely magnificent. You've seen what support we brought today. Imagine what it would have been like if it had been in Boston. The town will be deserted, I hope, come Monday or Tuesday, whenever we have this do. I think it's a sense of relief, joy, everything. I mean, it's been so close between us and Dagenham. Fair play to Dagenham. There's, I mean, there's not a lot between us at all. You can see we've won on goal difference. But hopefully, I think we've won on goal difference because we've been attacking all, all season. We've gone for the three points, so I think it's worked in our favour. It feels fantastic. Um, we go and challenge the likes of Hull now in front of maybe 12, 13,000. Fantastic. It's an unbelievable feeling. I think that's the most important goal I've ever scored. Um, I think I just got a massive head rush as I run over to uh, Jamie Cook in the, in the dugout because he said I'd score today. It's just an unbelievable feeling. It hasn't sunk in yet. Fantastic. You know, it's, there's no words I can, I can say in that that, uh, that explains it. I've, uh, I've given Boston United everything. You know, I'd arrive at seven in the morning and cut the pitch, as you know, and, and do all sorts of things that managers, if they did do, they wouldn't open up to it. But uh, it's all worth it. Everything I've done is worth it. And uh, I'm lucky I've got a, a very supportive wife and, and family at home. And I've got a brilliant board of directors who let me run the football club. Hey, stop it, stop it.
So a bit bleary-eyed, but back in Boston for a hero's welcome. Four championships in five and a half seasons, and uh, I'd love to add another one to that because uh, when you get a taste of winning things, you don't want to ever give these days up, so you've got to keep winning. Who knows what, what, what's going to happen in the next two years. This club is destined for massive things now. Um, maybe never the Premiership, but it's going to be one of the big boys. I can't see it being like Halifax. I think the support we get here is fanatical, as you've seen yourself. Um, the management is superb. The Malkerson family, what has backed this up right from the start, over 60 years. And it, it, it's come to where we've, they've got us through to promotion and nearly cost them their livelihood. But at the end of the day, we've got through there. Thanks.